only really speak on shit or, or uh, express it when they know, like, I'm right. Anything else, they'll listen. They'll listen, they'll tell you, oh, okay. And then they'll tell you, like, well, you said this before. You'll be like, damn, I did it. You know what I'm saying? They're not, they're not, they're very even killed. So I, I fuck with Taurus now. Yeah, Tip for Taurus. Mm -hmm. May 4th. That's what's up. They all, they, they do. You know what I mean? I fuck with them. But um, where we starting at today, man? Where we want to go, shit man? Go to. A lot of shit going on. You want to start with the, with the JPP return? Uh, we can start there if you want to. It's been two episodes since they came back. Mm -hmm. A couple times, uh, some time to like really assess the situation yeah and that was one of our big clips that we dropped when we put is their drama with the jvp mm -hmm. and it seemed like we kind of noticed it and called it before it took effect yeah so that's why i think the um, conversation spread like it did on the channel mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i think a lot of people appreciated the conversation we had about it yeah because again like i said it's our world you know what I'm saying? Those are that's a, a blueprint that you gotta watch. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get into the podcast world, and for them to say that they wasn't, they they're not those type of people. Go ahead, Cole. <laughs> for them to say that they're not those type of people, and then for it to rear his ugly head, him. <laughs> for it to it, to rear his Sorry. ugly head like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead. That's why Joe goes during the conversation. He's look at us. I would feel it being guys. And they like, nah, we don't do guys. No, we are. <laughs> we are. We, call, we said that years ago. Yeah, I'm going to say this just to start the conversation. I'm kind of on Joe's side. Really? I mean, because mm -hmm. you, you're that. But you know, I'm, you know. I, I, I totally agree with more. Thank you. I totally agree with more. Thank you. But it's what we Because you know, I don't, I don't, before they even left, I'm like, son, sometimes more pisses me off, bro. Some of the shit he mm -hmm. says. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. But when he makes sense, mm -hmm. boy, it's to the key. But that's why when Respect, we, bro. That's why when we had the last conversation, I said, I don't think it has much to do with Rory because he's a new friend. Right, but that's why I also said, remember, I said, I don't know if more will come back. Just like watching, listening, and getting to know him, like, bro, if, if, if he just stepped off because of Rory, like we said, it's a risk. He's looking at it in a total different light. Mm -hmm. And he might be like, I don't need. Like he was saying, I don't need to do this, nigga. You know I don't. Yeah. I'm good. If y'all don't know, I was good. I'm a Rockefeller kid. That's the thing that bothers me. Not Rock with. Nation. Like, I I'm a Rockefeller with, kid. I agree with the uh, loyalty and respect shit. You know what I'm saying? But that part is the part that bothers me but with him. But you don't know what Joe said. Because he good. Yeah, no, he no, no, never no. said what Joe said. He said, but what you... He only said what he was like when he told him, this podcast is none of your business. That's like you telling me that, bro. Mm -hmm. We can't even say that to Mike if we are not... You know what I'm saying? Like, you, who the fuck are you to be saying that? And then stand on it. I didn't like that. I don't agree with that. He didn't stand on that. But she did. No, he said, I shouldn't have told you that. And he said, the thing that's getting to me is that that's the only thing you're pulling out. But that's the only no, it's part. Not. That's the only part that more cares about. It's, it's, it's the respect. Yeah, part. what are you true. telling but him? But at first, he did say, and uh, he was like, but it's not. He didn't say that until he started explaining to him again. He like, well, I shouldn't have said that. It doesn't mean that. That's just saying I shouldn't have said it because of how you took it. I think I think he, I think he has himself back in that conversation. Oh, he did. He had to. I think he wanted to tell him like, yo, y'all my workers. Like y'all not understanding this. Can't these? no. What, bro? The day this becomes a uh, 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 money revenue, it's and a like I told somebody, like I told story. somebody, I said, nah, bro, I'm just pointing this out to you, right? Because they friends before this, right? He brought them in here to help him. Like we said, the Joe Button podcast existed when it was just him. He brought them in, right? So he, they helped him build the, the platform to where it's at now. Because the Joe Button podcast was not that. When Tag Stone was up there barking on him, ready to rip his fucking head off on the on, on the set. No, it bro. wasn't that. <coughs> so niggas helped you get to this point. 
whether you run this shit or not, you don't talk to your friends or look at them as fucking workers. You don't, bro. Don't sign the contract. You don't look at your friends as your workers. And if you do, you don't never say that to them. You don't <coughs> ever express that to them. I don't think because you didn't turn this shit into something totally different now. I That's think, not cool. I bro. think they turned it into something different. Though. Nah, I think he did. I think he did because of what you hearing them speak on from I a think, point of of they're not looking at George. Me, the a only, fucking boss, bro. The only place I see that he fucked up at is by not having a conversation with everybody and just telling Rory that you can't. I'm not a boss. You understand? Don't tell me you're a boss and you ain't making boss moves. And then you ain't moving like a boss. And then when your other co-host, your friend, approaches you on it and says, "I'm not gonna do it if you don't have him on," it. and then you tell him, podcast and saying extra baby. shit about Rory that they want to say. Right? That's not boss moves, bro. I don't agree with that. But I mean, Rory agrees with it. That's him. I'm not Rory. I hate when people do that, bro. It's a different situation, though. My nigga. Again, you haven't been around since day one. My nigga. Yeah, you haven't been around since day one. But when you treating the nigga that you live with, like he ain't been around since day one, it's foul, bro. It's foul. Yes, when you tell him. So I don't agree with that. They say none of your business. You can't tell me that. Yeah, you can't tell me that. Because then, like he said, if you think you're going to tell me that and I'm going to come and record the next day, you got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. You don't know me as a person. You know what I'm saying? So So I don't agree with him. I don't agree with him (laughs) on how he was moving. Because it could have cost you the fucking platform. And you go and bring in your other two friends. Right? And to me, once after the last few episodes, when Ice was welling, Joe was like, yo, I got I got to get the man back. He was even saying it on the on the fucking party. Yeah. I, I just I just think he makes business with friends, with friendship. He didn't want to I mean, fuck his friendship up. You, you he just didn't know how to go about it. But you mix friendship with business when you bring them onto your platform. But and then make if them he's telling contracts. but then if he's telling you that y'all haven't if we held, if we felt tension for months, none of y'all approached me about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you have intention in your personal life, talk to me about it. We friends, no? You know what I'm saying? You Are fucking we? up the because you telling me now that? you gotta ask Rory that. Are you we gotta friends? ask him that. Yeah. Because like you just said, you think he makes friendship with he's the boss, right? Bro, you gonna Bro. tell me you gonna tell me mad personal shit about whatever's going on in your personal life. And if I I know how to pick and choose on this show what to bring out of you. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now it's a it's a complicated situation. If I know you for twenty years, right? This is different. I'm not talking about them, I'm talking about me and you. Mm-hmm. And I see you struggling with something and you're not talking to me about it. And it's it's been a couple weeks now, right? Mm-hmm. And now I don't even know what to say on this mic, cause then nah, I if I that. say yo, I that part, and you just that said, and you it. just said, what's the name? Birthday is on May fourth, and I go, oh yeah, so y'all still good at that? And you go, bro, mm-hmm. now you mad on the show? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what fuck you doing? Why you bringing that? You gotta edit that part, out. and I'm like, yeah, no, you, I'm you, not editing that out. That's you are. And you like, yeah, now it's something. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's you are editing that out. So Why don't you even say that. I, again. <laughs> I agree with you. I, yeah. I don't agree with you. I understand what you're saying. I don't agree with what he, how he handled the. Because to be honest, part. I don't agree with he, with the whole situation. Yeah, it was corny. With the whole situation, these are these are grown men. All of them are older than us, except for Rory. Mm-hmm. You know so what I'm saying? So you got to teach him how to move in this and situation. And you didn't. You didn't. Neither one of y'all did. Because even more, you said I spoke to Rory from here, and I didn't. But you know something's going super but you know you say, I'm just stepping right away. from everybody. Yeah, yeah, I can't. But y'all know something's going on with him. Nothing. That's how I look at that. And I think that, the only person that deals with shit head on in there is Parks. Yes. And he has to deal and, with it in a different way. And even he said, I tried. Yeah. I, 
nothing. Cause that's why Pulse is my favorite person. And that's what the, made me that see the Joe Button podcast is built off camaraderie, right? They could now the camaraderie might be gone because I don't know where to joke with you. That's at. that's what Mo said. And to be honest, I wanted to get into it before I touched on it. Mo seems different. Yeah, his demeanor is done. It's changed. That's it. And I can see why. Even with the Jay-Z jokes in the next episode, this latest episode, he's not laughing. That nigga was quiet. He'll jump into it when he wants to. He was quiet for 30 minutes. And then Joe said, how do you feel about it? He asked more. He was like, no. I just expect him more. Maybe he was talking about the Sorry Not Sorry track. He got into that a little more. And because Rory is where he comes from, like Joe said, but you... You, you come from this business world. So he's going to be comfortable in that seat again. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that shit that Joe says is rubbed me wrong. So he was like, in no world do you ride for Rory. I was like, what type of sucker is this? <laughs> then I'm going to say it. Because nobody else, well, I fuck with Joe Biden, but that was some sucker shit. It's the, it, That's some sucker it shit, It still bro. goes back to, and we didn't even put this out, that episode. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, bro, you was wrong for that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's like, and you would have been like, bro, you, bro, you picking me over Trav? Yeah, it would have been like, I would have been like, what? What? What the fuck are you talking <laughs> no, about? Nigga. No, nigga. Talk about the platform that me The platform we in my home, nigga. Like, <laughs> all that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and immediately, when you... Ex- even before you express that, when you looked at me, we I'm talked with with our words. It's like, bro, <laughs> it's like, you're right, you're right. Let me stop talking for a little minute. You're right. So, but yeah, yeah, bro, you see what I'm saying? You can't, you can't. I, that I didn't like. I was like, whoa, that kind of fuck. You up. you feel it like, whoa. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because y'all really showed that y'all fuck with each other, and it fucks my head up. So now you're trying to split it to the audience, like. Wait, all oh, right, more and some some simp niggas will do that. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm not fucking Rory like that. They not really cool like that. Mm-hmm. It's in a way, bro. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't like that part, and that's why I say I don't agree with Joe because I feel like he mm-hmm. went too personal, okay. and this is business, correct? Yeah. So keep it business. Why ain't they call a business meeting? No, I don't want to hear that. You don't make no decision until you call a meeting. You can't tell me we all not fuck with each other and y'all y'all have time to shoot three, four episodes a week. Not just for YouTube, but for Patreon. So even if you don't call it a, 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 a meeting through text, when everybody's in the building, yo, before we shoot, we got to talk. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure they was around. Come on, son. I mean, you should have kept those episodes for Patreon. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? If they was a little more raw with it, I'm just, they don't I'm got just no saying, connections. You could have had that conversation without being like, oh, but no, nobody reached out to me. Y'all niggas are sitting amongst each other for three hours just recording. And y'all felt this for like two months. We I seen felt, it. I felt it for like we two seen months. it. Even the comments, yo, Joe, uh, bro, we going to punch Joe in the face one day. It took them two months to be like with Joe. Oh, my God. Yeah, like kept saying, yo, Rory looked like he was going to shoot up a school. <laughs> he get bragged, bro. I, was, I used to be like, bro, yo, bro, I think he's really and he, mad, and he bro. he's been going at them for a while. Academics at Rory and Mo. But, again, um, I don't think, I, he's he's been painting a picture that they his employees, man. I don't really see it like that. Last. I just see that. Not with more left. Not gonna last. You yeah, just change the whole energy. I just see that they not. I don't know. Had the nigga in his seat shitting on Griselda, looking like a bum. I dressed better than Ice. <laughs> nigga wasn't even matching some of the episodes. It just looked off. But like I said, I won't change it. I fucked with Ice and Ish because they gave opinions that weren't industry mm-hmm. opinions. But then Ice just started tripping the whole Griselda shit and he said Snowfall was trash. The last time. I ain't like none of it. I ain't like none of that shit. I'm like, oh, get this nigga out of here. He not fly. And he talking crazy. He was shitting on Griselda. You got Westside Gun talking crazy about you. Yeah. 
You changed the, the whole two, energy the first of the white was like you that you didn't see Gloria Moore being back and it really like mattering. Yeah, because then that's before Ice got comfortable and just started blabbing shit. It's like, bro, what is what's wrong with you? Yeah. But then so you agreed with more? But I fuck with Ish. So you agreed with more when he when he asked him why he unfollowed him? No. He said it was looking nasty. I don't agree with more, but I can see what he's saying. Because even the thumbnails look different. It's just Joe. Now when you look back at it, he just got his picture on it. It's just Joe. Even when it was them three, he got a few when it was them three. It just yeah. looks crazy. It's, it's a little like this and shit. Mm -hmm. There's no, no posture to it, no, no professionalism. So um, I get it, but I like that because sometimes I don't like that Rory and Moore holds back because they have industry friends. I'm not going to change that tape. But Rory did shit on some the past episode. I was like, they oh. don't, yeah, they don't really. Okay. You, they hold back, but they don't. They, they say they, what they say, though. Mm -mm. Them niggas hold back when it's somebody they fuck with. Just like, I mean, uh, Joe Biden's doing it. You see, uh, the last episode, he didn't want to talk about uh, Sorry Not Sorry. He didn't want to talk, uh, uh, talk about uh, Jay and Nas versus. He didn't want to talk about Diddy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't like that part. This. These podcasts, these platforms are supposed to be free speech and open reign. Give your opinion. Don't be holding back because you have, you know what I'm saying? That is corny. Yeah. They're starting to turn into verses. You diluting your shit. Because people even like don't I, watch podcasts for dilution, bro. For yeah, that, I, mean, I, could, I didn't even watch the new Drink Champs because they got. Um, Tamika Mallory and songs, my song? And he not smoking a drink, man. Glory. Like, bro, you do what you do. Like, when we Cause have... Because he, he got conscious people on the platform? Yeah, like, the only reason we didn't do it is because we couldn't smoke in that place where we recorded with Cottrell. We couldn't record in that specific... We couldn't smoke in that specific Space, room. Space, yeah. Yeah. But if we was in another room of that house, or if we was in we, the balcony, we would have been smoking while talking to him. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Don't change your shit. That's why the Joe Button Podcast is what it is. Their episode is going on like a regular episode and Dame Lillard will walk in or West Side Gunner will walk in and then the interview will start but you got to talk about what we talking about as well. You know what I'm saying? On the comment. That's why it felt good. You know what I mean? So yeah, like you saying, don't, don't, that. now we, like he said, now all of us got to go to therapy and figure this shit out. You never could, when you get to a certain space with people, man, it gets, it's hard to revert to what y'all was. Because if the, the the dynamic change in the relationship is is hard to see that person the same or for that person to see you the same. I think it depends, though. I think it depends. See, like with us, it has to be something dramatic, like extremely dramatic, like. Bro, but the last thing I remember us like even me like. At odds about. Yeah, or well, me even mad at you was like when you was chilling with like Snoop and Peanut. Remember, and I was crying, and I told my mom, <laughs> and I'm like, yo, he Damn. talked to me in, like, two days. Like, that's the last thing I remember with me and you really having, like, you know And what it mean? wasn't even nothing. I think after I came, I was like, nigga, what the fuck is this? Yeah, you know, I think it's because we both got a healthy respect for each other that we speak to each other about shit we don't like or like or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, none of us is afraid of each other or whatever the case is. We respect each other too much, you know what I'm saying? We've all like, seen each other at our weakest point. Yeah, so it's like, that's why every time like that, those months that I was down and you was like, it ain't got nothing to do with me. No, nigga, you know how to told you already. Right, right? but I act, see, I act. Yeah, I so ain't doing like, nothing, right? <clears throat> I ain't cool, so whatever. Because you, because you go off on a tangent. You go on some fuck everybody shit. And I be like, uh, okay. But everybody, you know, I can't be saying shit like that about people that were like, I never say that about my moms. I never disrespected Tay. I never, you know what I mean? Like, it's well, some people. What? I wouldn't say disrespect. Yeah, I, I removed myself from that situation. Yeah. That wasn't nothing but you don't know nobody how did. But everybody That's did. That's what I like, always tell you, though. You never yeah. know how somebody takes your action when there's no communication, bro. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but she ain't talk to me for like a day or two. Yeah, I had to talk to her for you. Like, nah, oh, nigga. Back in, I was like, my best friend, you just go ahead. <laughs> and you just walk out the door. What the fuck you mean? What you talking about, nigga? You sounded crazy right there. So, so yeah, man. I, I mean. But yeah. Um, as far as what, with what, them. What you, what you learned from that? Put that nigga in the back here, bro. Make you kill my little wow, bro. Make I mean, a drop a movie. He trying to hide his old character and shit. Like, we doing like Trip I'm bigger and better things. You know what I mean? Trying to me as the, the bad guy still. <laughs> um, what did I, I learn? Have to watch that. We talk about that next week. But go ahead, yeah. What did I learn from the JPP? Because this should be like a study. Um, I don't think I learned anything because. I think I, I applied I applied it to my life and things mm-hmm. I've been through and situations like that. So I think what I what I probably took from it was um, communication is key, and you know, like Talk said, we barely know how to communicate with our significant others, but we show them more emotion and more communication, but we don't do that with our friends. Yeah. With our men, we don't speak on how we feel or something that somebody might did or said that made us feel the type of way. We just, we shrug it off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or we keep it moving. As men, we don't be like, yo, bro, I really ain't like that you did such and such and such. You know what I'm saying? We don't do that. Because yeah. then it can create other shit. So that's what I learned from it. Like, man, just... Express how you feel, man. If, if there's something bothering you and, and this person is some sense of importance, don't matter if it's a male or female, just tell them. Yeah, because I knew that they was going to be back regardless. That's what I said when we ended the last conversation. I said, yo, if y'all respect the podcast and y'all want it back, respect their friendship first. They're going to fix their friendship and then they'll come back on the show. And like you saying, it might take more some time for his demeanor to change. You know what I'm saying? Back to what it was. It's just that, listen, man, I've known you for years, bro. You slept in my house. I slept in your house. We had a house together. I was on TV because you had me on TV on Love and Hip Hop and shit like that. You did, you you got to speak to her because of my brother and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So... <clears throat> We should have had a better conversation with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what he was saying. It took too long. Like, he said, I ain't think it was going to be six episodes. Like, Yeah, so but what I learned is friendship and business can mix, right? But you got to, like Maul said, you got to own up to... If you thinking something about the business and you feel like he's the person that really makes it the wheel turn, so I'm not going to say nothing, you can't do that. You got to say something. I have to say something. Because if everybody thought that Jada Kiss was the best one in the locks, everything would be going through him. You'll be the leader. Yeah. They all make decisions together because they see each other as equal. So like Kiss said, it's 30 for Kiss and 90 for the locks. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because <laughs> we're going to split this shit. Even if I'm only on the track. You know what I mean? He getting two, he getting two, and I'm keeping the rest. <laughs> yeah, we and so, that's why they've been able to they the, the longest tenured group, bro. They've never just because up. rest in peace to prodigy, that's the only reason that they not together no more. Mob Deep. But True. Locks never had no disputes, no none of that extra Nothing shit that you've seen in the that public eye. That's what and that's what I mean. That you can have that. You're gonna have that amongst men. So make make the make the conversation. That's like boom. That's like big. people that that think that this is my show. Like I started this, and, uh-huh. and it's like nah. <laughs> and even if when we next nah. each other, I don't ever jump out the window and be like, because I know what he gonna say as soon as they say that he gonna be like, yeah, nah, nah, this is his baby. That's how the conversation starts, and then. Yeah, I'm just chilling, bro. Man. He the man. He the man. I'm just the, the name and the face. Like, hey, yeah, I, you, you know, know people like, come and talk. And I have a mind for everything. I can talk sports. I can talk social uh, media. I can talk reality. I can talk uh, it's, it's relationships. Just, it's just I, reverse I now. It, it, that's how it was on the street. He didn't want to be known as the face, but niggas saw him as the face. You know what I'm saying? And 
he will come to all of us to make his decisions. Like, yo. Yep. And I will tell, I even told niggas then, niggas be like, yo, core block, coins, niggas, right? Well, I'll be like, nah, yeah, that nigga the leader. <laughs> yeah. That nigga the leader. Y'all don't know. You know what I'm saying? But he the leader. He tell me what to do. I never took that shit because yeah, it's corny. Cause it even mean you walking down the block and rest in peace again, G baby, talking to some, them niggas over there and something. And he don't walk up to you. He come up to me and hug me like, yeah, I have one of my niggas did it. Whatever he said, right? We not gonna say what he said. And it's like he and what not, I said. it's not not disrespecting you. It's like showing that yo, these niggas is equal. And if y'all see me talking to the big nigga, don't think the little nigga is. Candy. You know right. Yeah, so and and y'all see that perspective. When you start talking like that, what, yo, what happened? <laughs> we like, what's up? Who, which one? And they chilling. Like, yeah, he, he like, no, no, no. I'm just letting niggas know that they don't know the one. Right, yo, G, you can't that be doing that, crazy. bro, because you know this it switches for different people. What you talking about? Because niggas could get boom. Like, because I know you do that for me. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, so rest in peace. To, that's why I always yeah. say that. Rest in to G, baby. That's my heart, man. I think I picked up a lot of gems from this situation, though, man. I ain't gonna lie, because I I put them on a... I'm not gonna say I put them on a pedestal. I put them on a different level, this podcast. You know what I'm saying? And for them to show that they are human and normal to this shit, shit gonna get in the way. You know what I'm saying? And it depends on how you fight through that shit. Because like Maul said, and I... Yeah, like what Maul said, I agree with it. Bro, how you know it would've took six weeks? If we would have talked, I think it would have took a week. You know what I'm saying? So I just thought about it and compared it to our shit. Yeah, I never, know. I never did that till you just said it. It's, it's the same thing. It's just a different story though, because we known each other maybe as long as they known each other all together. You know what I'm saying? I doubt that. Cause if I doubt that, bro. It's close. I knew you since 1996, bro. Yeah, that's what I mean. Joe ain't no more since 96. No, he probably knew more, probably, what, 15 years? Probably no matter, 06, 07. He probably know, bro, close to 10 years now. Oh, 06, 07, we were... Parks, Parks is a different story. He's his engineer, so he's been around probably since, what, the middle of his career or something like that, you know what I'm saying? But we've known each other almost going on a quarter of a century, you know what I'm saying? For the same shit we say about Vince, right? When we be like, yo, Vince Carter played in four decades. Yeah. Son, I've known you for four, not four, four decades, but in four decades. 90s, 90s 2000, 2000s, 2000s, and now in 20s. There's no way any of these niggas have the, the, the reputation that we have, bro. That's like Ty Lib. Ty Lib coming out and he said he should be here at one o'clock. I've known that nigga. Been around Ty since 1992. This time that we haven't been around each other for probably about the past seven years is the longest we haven't been together. What the fuck? That's that's what I be saying about everybody. Like this now in our adulthood is the longest time that we was. It's like we all live together, bro. Every day it'd be uh, on a good Friday it'd be 30 of us, no problems, laughs. Jokes and that's, smoke. And that's throughout the day. Like, niggas just popping up at mad odd hours. Just Y'all be back at, like, around eight. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the other hoods and showing their face. Like, you know, yeah, this is regular. So, <clears throat> I'm, I'm happy I was watching it when they wasn't there. I'm watching it now. Because it's crazy for me, because after they left, when my come watch, and he was like, nah, it's good, give it a chance. I gave it a chance, I was like, I like this. I was like, I don't think they come back. Then they was back, and I was like, yo, feel then, they went, and then that's why he feels how he feels. It's me. It's me that make the ball roll. Listen, man. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas sitting here, y'all quiet sometimes. And like he said, if I stopped it, then what happened? Then niggas is quiet. He like, nah, pass the mic to such and such. Pass the mic to such and such. If it's quiet time. We can't, I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. Oh, but Henny Palooza stop. This is never going to stop. But Henny Palooza stop because Corona, you're not listening to what I'm saying. Coronavirus hit the same time Henny Palooza stopped. And what we did, we kept going. Joe. I'm going to keep Joe this shit going. Joe is a um, podcast enthusiast, right? And it's still a new game, but. I think he loves I it more than he did hip-hop. hip-hop. Because because not, not more than hip-hop. More than he liked rapping. Because you got 
to me, talent is hard to like deny. Yeah. Like I mean, for self, like if you do something real good, it's hard to just be like, nah. Stop. Mm-hmm. Especially like a gift. Joe has a gift. Whether niggas want to believe it, listen to the movie music that. or not, that nigga can yeah. rap. And for him to start this podcast while he was still rapping, and then be like, yo, nah, I'm gonna stop. I retired. I'm doing this. Because I see what's going on and what's, what it's going to be. I think he enjoys this more because yeah, of what he gets out. In the next 15, and I say 15, I don't like through 20 years because time and everything is moving faster in yeah. this generation, this era. The next 10, 10 years, 10, 15 years, Joe will be a podcast guru. It will be like Joe Rogan, him. Yeah. There's two Joes, right? Joe Rogan, Joe Button, Nori. Um... Somebody else, but those are the three for me that are like, cause I know when they start giving awards out and shit for podcasting. Yeah, they already got one. No, I mean yeah. like at Grammys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, once that becomes a section, these are niggas that they're gonna be legends for that. Yeah, like how was earned and shit like that for radio. You know what I mean? For radio. Cause he said it in that Larry King in for that radio. journey shit. On his channel, that Johnny shit. Mm-hmm. When he talking to the um, the owner of uh, Patreon, mm-hmm. he's interviewing Joe, and Joe was like, "Yo, when I was doing radio, I loved that shit. I loved it, but they told me that I couldn't do it because they, were, my audience was getting me for free. Why would they buy my album? Oh. You know what I'm saying? So, so then that's why he chose this. So yeah, um. Shout out to the JVP, man. They back at it, you know what I'm saying? JV. Boy, he's just back. back. The business. Yeah, yeah I didn't I, say I, it I fuck with the two episodes, but. I fuck with the network. Um, I'm always going to support. Like, whenever it, I'm, I'm watching, man. One of our episodes is titled so, Bud so, and Vengeance. So. Yeah, they, they all vengeance. We Bud and Vengeance. Yeah, man. I fuck with him, man. I, I, I understand most of the shit he says, and when I. Uh, disagree with him, I still kind of agree with him. And listen, man, like I, I just... told you, <laughs> he's been begging and trying to get Maul and Rory to do their own shit on the network. They be back in the mornings. <laughs> he said that a couple times. <laughs> what? He said, they be back in the mornings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I told you I'm pointed out there, and I think it's going to happen, man. That man to come across us, and the same visions he had for Maul and Rory. Us. Yeah, I'm, I, they don't, don't want to do I don't care what people say or whatever. I'm gonna keep putting that out into the universe as much as I can. That he's gonna come across us again because he ran across us already in the beginning. But yeah, he's gonna run across all the content we were putting out. He's gonna be like, they deserve more than what they getting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They putting in too much work. You know what I mean? So. Man, ain't bullshit. Shout out to them, man. I ain't even mad. Organically, organic work. I love this shit. I, I like podcasting. I, I never was a person that really liked to talk too much. I, but when I got around, you good my, at it, bro. But when I got around my friends, it was always a comfortability that I could say whatever I wanted to. Like, oh, you good at this shit, man? Like Nate being like, "Yeah, we wear skinny jeans. Y'all niggas, you wear big jeans. Your dick not even that big." And I'm like, "Nigga, I get pussy though." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like. <laughs> I'm just comfortable with people that I'm comfortable with. And like you saying, thank you. I'm good at it. I feel like I'm good at it because I feel like we were studying this shit before a couple we, years before we, we even didn't decided jump to do it. And be like, yo, like a lot of people were doing. And I didn't even know I was studying it. I was just watching mad clips of podcasts and then started watching the full episodes. And I'm like, damn, these niggas talking for three hours though. Think about the first the first couple Please. ones we did, but we kind of told people what got us into it, made us when it was like, yo, who inspired you? And we asked each other that question. It was tax. Yeah. I was listening to three hours of tax stone. I wasn't even looking at him. Yeah, that that was, was straight audio. That that one is, yo. Well, for me, it was if he could do something like I that, can, I can. I do can it. do it. Cause if he's Tech Stone, no different from if the gang. Remember and 
He had no fucking ties. Fucking felon and street name he could do no it. Ties. And no ties. And sh- besides the few people that. He know. But you know what I'm saying? That's because he was outside. Besides, right. So besides that. I don't know niggas like that. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, exactly. My point, bro. Well, and and I ignore it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm humbly core, bro. I'm always going to be humble core because anything I ever did, it wasn't for niggas to be like, yo, that nigga, nah, nah, nah. you know that, bro. This is where we, my hood will make this shit look like the Virgin Islands. And I ain't talking about the start now. My shit will make it, and I survived that. I always think that shit too. I'll be like, yo, I survived the start in the late 90s. Come on, son. I think it's actually what time it was and opening your face. Not grown ups, young niggas, I used bro. To be scared. Bro, scared. come on, yeah. son. I'm always saying, yo, you got to start walking to school. Dog, I was like, and, then, I and people them. wonder I why I it. still have that that animalistic. You know what I'm saying? People are like, damn, you still like that? Yo, I am, but I'm not. I am very calm, cool, and we collected now. 50, like, yo, but boy, why is he so relentless. Fifty, like, bro, he grew up in a time where if he wasn't like that, he would have been gone a long time ago. <laughs> For real, but I, yeah. all my anger was worse at a time where it should have been. Where people be like, oh, you got chill. Somebody kill you. The nigga, if I don't get him first, what is you talking about? He gonna like, have to get me. He gonna have to get me, bro. I wasn't just, and it wasn't just, I wasn't like that with just niggas my age. Grown men, I didn't give a fuck. So, I don't know. Shit just, it, it'd be a little different for me, son. And, and, yeah. But this podcast, this shit, and, man, and this it, man. this showed me that I could, I can be something different, bro. And I just this, I'm not saying like our platform, but others like Tax Stone and Joe Buttons, and even going um, back to like shout out, yo, we I don't fuck with him like that. But in the beginning, it was it, like Skip Bayless, like Cold Pizza, like when they debating academics, like when they debating. Sports, we used to sit here and be like, damn, some of the shit they say is true, but this perspective of what we say is probably better. That that was the first time where people told us we needed to be on TV. Watch the first take with us. And that, that's shit. before podcasts and all that, to go back. Like, when we used to be anywhere and watch a first take or just debates about sports, because we never agreed on shit. I'm a Yankee fan. You're a Mets fan. I'm a Knicks fan. You fuck with Bron, you know what I'm saying? So we never agreed. You know, I've been watching sports. You got into it a little later, so you look at it a little different than I do. With basketball, and football. right? You'd be like, Mike is, you know, I'd be like, damn, I'm fucking him. But so you know what I'm saying? When topics used to come up and we would argue, remember, niggas used to be in here just listening to us. Like, nah, y'all niggas need to. Be. I'd be like, everything the niggas talking about is not gonna happen, and it doesn't. Remember since. From like 2010 to like 2018, nigga Stephen A. Smith picked the finals wrong every, every year. Hating on bro, <laughs> every year, and he getting paid. We in here like that's not how that's gonna happen. Gonna go okay, I don't yeah. know what niggas is watching. But um, yeah, shout out to all the podcasters out there, independent majors. Whatever you doing, you know what I'm saying? Keep putting content out, you know what I'm saying? I'll never forget, we sat in and I said, yo, they kicked that ball at Devin Hester. He running that shit back. And he was like, yo, you think so? Yeah, well, they, they kicked, kicked that, that ball to him, he running that shit back. Okay. First first play of the Super Bowl, he ran that shit back. I looked around the room, I told them they was back. <laughs> they ain't kicked that shit down for the rest of the game, bro. They only scored that one touchdown. Well, um... Uh, Shout out to them, you know what I'm saying? We're going to keep our eye on that. Um, let's get into it. Um, rumblings, rumblings in music scene. What you thinking? What I'm thinking? I ain't trying to think too much. I am. First, the, the, fan I out. The, Go ahead, fan I out. Think the first one I saw was the J. Cole. Yo, fan out, though. The TV? With everything, with the whole shit. Fan out. Oh, Go ahead. Know. 